So surprisingly, Apple's three most recent flagship could shape the iPhone SE 4. Yes, Apple's upcoming budget option, the iPhone SE 4, is set to debut in spring 2025. It will feature several upgrades over its predecessor, like a refreshed design and reportedly some specs from the latest iPhone 16. A fresh report from tech media outlet 9to5Mac has unveiled some intriguing details about the upcoming iPhone SE 4. According to the report, the iPhone SE 4 is said to include the base A18 processor found in the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. If this holds true, we can expect the new iPhone SE to come with a 8 gigs of RAM and support of Apple intelligence. According to the report, Apple is looking to use the 48 megapixel wide camera from the iPhone 15 and a 12 megapixel front facing camera in the SE 4. The iPhone SE 4 is likely to keep a single back lens, but the improved resolution could potentially bring a 2x optical zoom feature to the table. On top of that, there is talk that the iPhone SE 4 might come with the Apple's initial 5G modem, a rumor that has been circulating for a while. This modem could also handle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS features leading to possible improvements in the energy efficiency especially when the device is running on low power. The last major influence on the iPhone SE 4 comes from the iPhone 14 and it seems like it could be a significant one. Previous reports hinted that iPhone SE 4 could take design cues from the iPhone 14 and the latest update seems to be confirmed that. So we can anticipate the iPhone SE 4 featuring those flat sides and a 6.1 inches OLED display complete with a notch for the Face ID sensor. If all these details check out, I think the iPhone SE 4 could be an excellent option for those seeking the Apple experience without breaking the bank. While rumors hint at a higher price for this upcoming modem, possibly around $500, it would still be lower than the latest iPhone 16, all while promising similar performance. In my opinion, the iPhone SE 4 is looking like a really solid option for anyone who wants the Apple experience without splurging on a flagship model. The fact that it might inherit key features from the iPhone 16 like the A18 chip and 48 megapixel camera is a huge win for a budget phone. It's rare to see that level of performance trackle down to a lower price device. Plus the rumored 5G modem and potential energy saving perks are going to be important in a world where everyone is looking for both speed and battery life. So what do you think of this iPhone SE 4? Let me know in the comments. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.